Oh my goodness, we are completely overwhelmed. We can't thank you enough. Thank you, CJF. Thank you, Robin. Thank you, everybody in this room. Thank you to everybody for whom this reporting meant something. Thank you for giving our parents an outlet for their pride. <laughs> they were very excited about this video. <laughs> We're currently in the 36th week of the Me Too moment, and we're feeling the same way we have pretty much every day since our story was published on October 5th, absolutely staggered and filled with gratitude and wonder. We're especially honored to be here in Canada tonight, hearing your stories, knowing that so many of you are having the same conversations and asking the same questions. This story is so intimate to all of our lives, and yet its reach is so vast. We feel especially staggered because we remember the very tentative beginning of our investigation. We had almost no information. Megan was still on maternity leave. Even getting the actress's phone numbers, each phone number required a whole investigative process unto itself. Hollywood sources were telling us that we would never get the story, and that even if we did, nothing would change. As for whatever Harvey Weinstein did or did not do with women in private, that was how Hollywood worked. That was how life worked. The fact that that is now all under question is due to efforts far greater than our own. We're here today in part because the New York Times in the past year has made an extraordinary commitment to sexual harassment reporting. Our colleagues, Emily Steele and Mike Schmidt, who broke the story about Bill O'Reilly, pioneered a new model of sexual harassment reporting that used settlements, which had always been used to silence allegations, to reveal them instead. The fact that we're now having an international debate about the morality of NDAs and confidentiality agreements is due in no small part to their groundbreaking work. Our editors took every, every ounce of the rigor, might, and experience of the New York Times and used it to confront a bully and to protect women. They pushed us to gather as much evidence and documentation as possible, settlements, memos, internal company records, so that we could break the he said, she said cycle and give the brave women who came forward a mountain of evidence to stand on. The, <clears throat> the real moral horror of the Weinstein story was how someone could have racked up 40 years of allegations without anyone stopping him and with more and more people helping him along the way. There were high-powered lawyers who swooped in to help silence women. There were HR departments that turned, to, turned the other way when employees in his companies came forward with complaints. There were journalists who helped dig up dirt on his accusers rather than expose him as a predator. There were talent agencies in Hollywood that continued to send actresses into meetings in his hotel rooms, even after their clients reported back unsettling and abusive encounters with him. We'd like to thank Ronan Farrow for his own remarkable contributions to this story. It's so telling that The Times and The New Yorker did such extensive investigations, story after story, and we had almost no overlap what does that say about re what really happened here? In reporting the story, the two of us had a mantra that we shared with victims and that got us through our hardest days. We said, we can't change what happened to you in the past, but the power of journalism is that we may be able to help turn this pain into some constructive purpose. And maybe if we work together, we can help other people. In the end, so many courageous women said yes to the proposition of ours, and our ultimate thanks is to them. 
A few weeks after our story published, we had dinner with Ashley Judd. We went to a dinner, actually, where, uh, with Ashley Judd, where she was given an award for being named a source in our, our first story. That's what her award plaque literally said, for being an, a named source. <laughs> for journalists like us, this kind of award is the honor of a lifetime. But seeing our source get an award for telling the truth, that's the world that all of us here want to live in. Thank you again. It is meant to be, it'll be, it'll be, baby, just kidding.